<laughs> you unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. I gotta get the fuck out of there. And my reason for this, my reason is for one that you may share, possibly. I have a very low tolerance level for stupid bullshit. We don't want no, 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 we don't want no bullshit around us. No bullshit around us. No bullshit around us. No bullshit around us. Drink the drink. But I don't want the drink. He doesn't want the drink. He does. I don't. You do. I don't. You do. I don't. You do. I don't. You don't. I do. You don't. I do. You don't. I haven't got time for this Mickey Mouse bullshit! Caution, you are about to enter the no bullshit zone. Factor begins right now. Yeah, that's right. Finally, finally, finally. Oh my god, babe, how many times have we tried to do this? A few. Yeah, the no bullshit zone, though. It's fucking back. Holy shit. I yeah. swear. Yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, check it out. I got my fucking poke frost with me. What's up, y'all? Yeah. Uh, What's yeah. that? Man, I don't know. But look, Poke, we've tried to relaunch this fucking show. Like, I don't even know how many goddamn times. We actually tried to relaunch it at points before I'd even fucking moved up to Anderson. And it just did not work. Uh -huh. And I know why it didn't work, uh -huh. Poke. Do you know why? Uh, yeah, I know why. Hey, it didn't work. It didn't have us. Yeah. Right <laughs> damn. Look at that. <laughs> he was born ready. What can you say, ladies and gentlemen? Shit. Yeah. You damn right. Hell yeah. Well, I'm ready. That's right, man. So this is technically episode eight, but I'm also going to call it episode one because I don't give a fuck. This is no fucks given radio, the no bullshit zone. Right. We're just, we're just going to fucking have, it's going to have two different episode numbers on every episode of the no bullshit zone going forward from now forward. Like, what do you think? No. You said have a few different episodes? Yeah, my, no, I said just have it on, my wife's like, no. I said, because technically this is episode eight, but it's the official relaunching, mm -hmm. so I'm going to put one on it as well, and my wife's like, don't do that, babe. You're a jackass. Oh. <laughs> she might be right. Oh, no. eh. <laughs> hey, yeah. man, look, you say we're a good team. We're a good team because sometimes my insanity overrides my intelligence, and she has to take it down a notch, you know. Right, 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 yeah. right. Y'all compliment, compliment each other, so that's a good thing. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And can I say, man, these are two hosts that we're going to have, man. I Just real quick, for everybody out there listening, which, like I said earlier, man, Poke, there probably ain't nobody listening. They all probably doing the same shit Nitty is, watching the finals. Check it out. Right. But that's going to be right. our other host on the No Bullshit Zone, Frank Nitty. Yeah, we got Frank Nitty, Poke Frost, and myself chopping it up every fourth Monday. We're just on today. Yeah, not this time, though. We're just on this time because, God damn it, Poke, I really didn't want to reschedule this shit again. <laughs> Yeah, and we the only two uh, on gonna be on probably. Mm -hmm. out of, Hell yeah, man! Out of the ter out of the, out of the terrible three. Oh, that's no, that's a great yeah. Because like, like I said, the plan is on these shows we're just gonna address all kinds of different shit from like yeah. some dumbass in Florida who did something really stupid. To, you know, the fact that, like, some, <laughs> like, Kathy Griffin with her fucking Trump thing. Or the fact that Trump backed us uh, out yeah. of fucking the Paris fucking weather climate shit. Like, that's what we're going to use this show right. for. Uh, dude, get, like, a poke, man, right off the bat. What's your opinion of that, dude? Just the fact that that fucker backed us out of that shit. Man, listen, I don't understand. I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't understand how this man ain't been in the office for a year. And he's doing all this crazy shit, man. It's like, dog, what the... Man, he's he gonna get a kill. You know what I'm saying? Korea, North Korea, then the bottom of the shit out of us in a minute. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what the fuck, man? What is this dude doing, man? Then you backing out of these, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, man. I've been keeping up with that shit, man. Yeah. Yeah, see, I was actually it's listening. Crazy, man. Yeah, I was listening to the fucking news on the radio, um, just running to get some fucking, running to get some beer, to be honest, ladies and gentlemen, because that's what I did. I needed my Bud Light, whatever. Not a sponsor. <laughs> fucking right. pay me. Um, <laughs> right. You know, I, I drink it. I mean, I drink it for free, fuckers, and I'll say it on air. You should pay me to say it on air, and I'll say it way more often, I promise. Right. Yeah, I'll fucking say that hey, shit. I don't drink it. Yeah. Hey, I don't drink it. If you pay me, I'll say it, too. Hell yeah. <laughs> See, that's what's up. You know, it's in the no bullshit yeah. zone. But lie. That's what's up. No but, uh, I mean, right. I was listening to it, and they said about that whole Paris Agreement is one of the main things, and, and dude, I don't know why he didn't think about this, but with him doing that, it puts it to where China can take a lead on that particular, right? I mean, with that whole situation with global warming and everything, 
Uh, dude, why the fuck? Like, it's like he, this country's been in the front as far as just being an example for the entire globe for an entire time or for a long right. time. I feel like this right. asshole's making it to where, hey, we're not going to be the example anymore. And maybe he's right. Maybe right. we shouldn't be the example for the world, though, Poke. What do you think? Yeah, yeah because they, they expect too much from us, man. You know what I'm saying? We, they, they expect the United States just to be this perfect country. And, you know, they expect just so much when every, anything is going down, any topic or whatever. So maybe that's why he's doing it. But I don't think it's a good good thing, though, that he's doing. But we'll see how it turns out, man. All we can do is just keep on living and stand on no bullshit zone and talking shit about him. Yeah, Trump will probably be a topic doing. every fucking month in, until he gets impeached. Because... Right. Holy yeah. shit! And I don't see, I don't see how that ain't already happened by now, man. It's like, come ah. on, how the hell? I don't I understand. Don't, I don't understand. First of all, I don't understand how the hell he got into the damn office. I'll Here tell he you is. why. How he even got to run? No, I don't know. I don't know about all that poke, but I'll tell you why he hasn't been impeached yet, in my opinion. Because, dude, it's such a shock fest of fuckery that everybody's too just wondering. Everybody's just too distracted, wondering what this asshole's gonna do next to worry about impeaching him. Right. <laughs> And then that shit with the Russia issue about the leaking um, information and all this, man. They know, they know he did it, him and his crew. It's like, why the hell is y'all still got in that office, man? Like, get that motherfucker about that office. Well, and then you've seen the thing uh, about, he said that he actually wanted to open negotiations and, like, start a far more open relationship with Russia. Right. Like, that motherfucker yeah, wants to dude. get buddy-buddy with Putin. Right. Man, Donald Trump don't even know his history. You know what I mean? Like, how you gonna be in that... Uh, President of the United States, and you don't even know your history about past presidents, certain past presidents, and stuff that happened and all that, man. It's like, come on, man. Look. Okay, you a good businessman, but that's it. Yeah. No. Yes, I am. My wife's fucking like, are you recording? Um, I think I am. Let me double check. Now she's got, like, why is she <laughs> fucking? She's always fucking with me. Poke, I swear, but, you know, she is. Yeah, but I'm. I'm, 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 I'm recording. I don't give a fuck, man. Nice fucking happen sometimes you know I ain't fucking flawless and there's not 20 people over here running this fucking radio like a normal radio station would be that's just the truth of it but this is the no bullshit zone but yeah man um right see now I lost my fucking point cause <laughs> you threw me off about what the fuck what did you just say Pope my wife distracted me I about the, uh dude, I don't know I was listening to her distract you and distracted me too damn everybody got distracted no bullshit um, <laughs> right <laughs> No, we're talking about the uh, whole Russia Putin Putin thing. Oh, getting... oh, there you go. No, no, no. There you go. No, no, no. Look, I'll tell you. I really think that Trump probably knows as much about American history as I do fucking sports. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's right. That's right. Right. I can't even. Look, hey, I know damn. it's the final. Look, I know tonight is the finals. But look, the only reason I even right. know it's the finals, Poke, is because fucking Big Will from Big Will E and T and Frank Nitty. That's right. And fuck, I don't know. Maybe Poke will jump in on it. Hell, who knows? Are getting ready to start fucking sports, yeah. bitch. That's right. It'll be the fucking second and fourth Sunday of every month. Yeah. Right? Just talking sports. Right. That's the only reason I know it's the finals tonight. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't know that shit. <laughs> right. And I still can't tell you uh, who's in it. What's that? What's that, my wife says? The pistons and the bulls in it. But nah. uh <laughs> You a lying, you lying. That sounds like some that sounds like it was when I watched sports. I mean, because I watched sports back right, then. Back you know? in eighty seven. Yeah, for real. Like, like fucking, you know, early nineties, that's when I watched it. Fucking Jordan right, right when Shaq right when Shaq right. and shit got in, but I I watched his early career. That was fucking it. Right. You know? Like, probably three or four right. years into Shaq's career, I got out of fucking basketball and shit. But Carl Malone was the shit. That's all I got to say. Yeah, he you was. Bow you in a yeah, face Carl and was... ain't nobody catch it. Right. Carl was hard. Yeah. He hit you with an elbow in a minute. Hell yeah. He was great about it, dude. I loved him. Yeah. I'm a fucking, I was, right. like, that was my player. If, if, in, in the NBA... Like that was that was my dude. Him and John Stockton was a good good combo, man. Ooh. Yeah. They like they the way they played off one another, it, it was impressive. But yeah, that's about as far as my sports knowledge goes. You know? And I honestly, like I said, I think Trump probably knows less about American history, so that should be very worrisome to everyone. Yeah, we should be worried. 
Let's get Trump to call yeah. in. Poke. <laughs> oh man, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna have to sit him a tweet, man. You see the way he, he uh oh my he does all his uh get him a tweet and shit if you uh Babe tweet Donald fine. Trump will get him on the no bullshit zone. That is Poke's right. That's how he does right, all yeah, his business. Hey. Uh, here I'll tweet him. Right. She should, oh, she should do that. Okay. Tweet me. Tweet that motherfucker right now. Tell him he's being that. disgust. Grow some balls and let's talk about it, you uh, orange yeah. motherfucker. Right. He's orange, dude. That motherfucker is not a fucking race of 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 what human like. Who the fuck you know that 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 is that color? What the fuck? Unless like a fake tan, like what John Cena after he just got a fucking fake tan and they fucked it up a little. Right. <laughs> he orange, though, right? Wow. <laughs> like damn. I mean, like I I look at him sometimes, okay. poke, and I'm like. That's not, that's, there's, like, there's something wrong there. Just, like, looking at him, like, just his face, man, and, like, just how he fucking looks. I'm like, dude, like, it looks like somebody tried to make a human and just got kind of close, but they just didn't pull it off quite right. He looks, he looks like he needs to join Axe. Right. He looks like he needs to join Axe? Oh, my God, babe. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 yeah, I don't know how the hell they let him get up in that office, man. I'm, I'm still <sighs> just. Like, that's what, like, are you serious? That, dude, that I... Hell, man, that... Now, I'm curious, though. I will say, his whole uh, opinion on that Paris thing, you realize why the... Oh, man, I don't know. I really, like, he didn't honestly, ha like, think this through at all. I don't think. But he said the main thing, the reason he did it is because he's like, I'm not concerned with Paris. I'm concerned with uh, Philadelphia. Like, I wasn't elected to... Philadelphia? Or Philadelphia. Is, I think that's where he said. He might have said somewhere else somewhere else i don't fucking know it was someone that started with a p or no he said pittsburgh is what he said he said i was elected to help pittsburgh not paris you know mm -hmm. um and i get mm -hmm. that point but he's like like you say pokey's doing things that are good short term and that is all yeah that motherfucker ain't did one thing or said one thing about flint Came here and tried to, you know, stand on this campaign. Tried to, you know, to reach out here and everybody. Oh. He gave me a call. Since he's been in office, ain't, ain't, ain't did shit for the city, man. Ain't said nothing, did nothing. And like, if you're gonna, on, you don't see what's going on. And if you're gonna fucking bring up a, a place in the country that needs help, I mean, fucking, I'm pretty sure Flint's the only place you can't go up and fucking get a drink of water out of your goddamn sink. Right. You know, right. so I, I think that would be a fucking priority. Yeah, a high priority. Like, come on now. I got some all the trillions and billions of dollars to all these other countries, but you got a city in here in your own, you know what I'm saying, country that you ain't even trying to help. You know what? And and yeah. fuck it. This is the no bullshit zone. I'll say this shit live on air. I hope it don't get me assassinated, though. I really think he's <laughs> trying to start World War Three. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Like, like the motherfucker is yeah, like, it's, it'll be good for the economy. What we need in the, on this planet is a world war. No, you dipshit, we don't. Do you realize the last time we had one, we weren't capable of murdering one another at the capacity we are now? All right. Man, North Korea said they got something that's going to touch the, the uh, U.S. mainland. They, uh, intercontinental ballistic, uh, missile, but they, they saying they got it already. They said, yeah. Trump do anything else, they shooting it over this way. They touched the East Coast, they said. No, West Coast, I meant. No, East Coast, yeah. Yeah, no, I think, yeah, you're right. It'd be the East Coast, man. But, like, so, why the fuck? So, in that, I mean, North Korea is highly, is, I mean, has good ties with Russia. I think they still Yeah. North, yeah, okay, I and can't. China. Yeah, and China. So, if he's trying to have talks with Russia, then, so, would that solve the North Korea problem? And in that, is he right? It's not gonna no, it's not gonna solve when uh, when Trump just had to uh, had us bomb Syria. Some Russia Russia uh, men was there and whatever, and it, it put them in harm's way. I don't know if a few of them got killed and I got put them in harm's way. And Russia was pissed and China was pissed that they bombed over there. And now it's like everybody's trying to go against them. You know, not everybody, but Russia, China, North Korea, trying to be pretty much be against us. Yeah, see, World War Three, man. Yeah, and Trump, man, is like, dude, what are you doing, man? I don't know. 
you get in here, you ain't even been in here a year, you sending out bombs, already bombing places, but you don't even know what's going on. From only what you hear, you don't know what's going on. Get in office, get your feet wet, study and pay attention to what's going on, and make these decisions. You done got a Navy SEAL killed, sending them in there with, and then try to blame it on the Obama administration, talking about they had already had it uh, mapped out and planned out, but you done got a Navy SEAL killed that sent them in there with no, and the, and the uh, ISIS people was waiting on them. My husband was waiting on them when they came. Dude got killed or whatever. It's like, dog, come on, man. You sitting up there sending these people in blindfolded. They don't even know what they're walking into. Well, yeah, and that's why he says he's not fucking, uh, he's not taking his morning briefs. Like, he's not taking briefs from the fucking FBI and the CIA and shit. Like, he's not fucking listening to them. That's the last right. I heard. I mean, I hope he is now. Maybe the motherfucker is listening. You know, it's the Federal Bureau of Investigation and the Central Intelligence Agency. You know, you kind of fucking need those things and you need the information they have you should really shut the fuck up and listen because there's probably shit they know man. He just, but there's probably shit they know they ain't just, even telling you he just fired the, the main motherfucking cop was it Kylie yeah yeah yeah, for yeah the, he uh, just fired FBI. him well that's because the motherfucker was investigating him <laughs> yeah he was investigating him. <laughs> exactly right he was, he, <laughs> but see the thing is why with, with Hillary, Hillary Clinton when her problems with them emails was going on, they quickly, instantly put her emails out there. Why well, ain't doing that with just Trump? They should have all the shit that Trump did with Russia and all that out there in the open so everybody can know. The emails, though, that was done by a Russian hack. That wasn't done by Hillary or her people. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying Hillary, she sent the emails to a personal uh, ser- I mean, uh, server or whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Russia hacked it and leaked them. Why they not leaking none of the shit that why the FBI can't go in and find them the shit that Trump did and leak them themselves instead of having Russia do it? Man, that you know, Trump, man. maybe that's why Henley got fired. Maybe he had hacked some shit from Trump, and maybe he had information, yeah. and Trump was like, get the fuck out right now. I'm not dealing right. with this shit. Right. <laughs> right. Find out that Henley yeah. is just gone. <laughs> like, nobody knows where he went. The former director of the FBI is missing. <laughs> Right. I'm he's curious. the that was, that was starting to investigate investigation of Hillary. Yeah, no, you know, I'm really like, curious. Come on, man. If she like, is that dude still alive? I'm curious. Poke. Does anyone know? <laughs> Ain't nobody heard from him in a minute since he's been fired. Uh, damn. Like so dead. got him back. Hey, man. Look, they <laughs> do say you go into like FBI, CIA. That's a lifetime service, and by lifetime, I mean pretty much you only retire when you fucking die. Right. Yep. Just right. like joining the gang, you don't just walk out. You yeah. die. Yeah, that's. I mean, the FBI and CIA are are gangs of the fucking United mm-hmm. States federal government, technically mm-hmm. in a capacity. Right. right. Yeah. Like it's pretty much. I mean, you get beat in. You got to go through that fucking training. You're telling me that ain't a physical ass <laughs> right. weapon. Right. It is. Don't mm-hmm. fuck up, bitch. You fucking get up that wall. I don't give a fuck if you're fucking sitting there bleeding out, fucking because you broke your leg. Fucking do it. Like that's how they treat you because that's uh, the kind of that's the kind of agents uh, they need. And I get that. Mm-hmm. But for your president to just no, that's his most suspicious move. I think at this point, Poke is the fact right. that he fired the head of the FBI when he was right. getting investigated. Yep. That's crazy, man. Our country is fucked right now. If, if they don't eat, impeach him quick, we're going to be fucked. Uh, see, A lot of Americans are going to die. But here's the thing, though, right? I, mean, don't have... I agree, but I I think you're right, and it's going to be America's fucked, because I don't think we'll have any goddamn allies by the time this war starts. Right. Well, did you see uh, when he said he told Japan... They, we sent the thad that uh, the missile uh, protector. Well, we I sent mean, the missile protector over to Japan for because uh, North Korea is going to try to uh, no South Korea. I mean, not Japan, South Korea. <laughs> he told them they they gonna have to pay for it, and they're like they got pissed at Donald Trump. Like, motherfucker, what's going on? Y'all gonna have to pay for this? You know what I'm saying? We already had the agreement and some kind of agreement. Trump yeah, like, well, yeah, they gonna pay for it. Like, I'm like, man, they're making enemies everywhere. Yeah, like, I know, man. I mean, I mean, I understand if one person pisses you off, you can look at that person and be like, fuck off. But because of that, you can't look at everyone else and go, hey, you know what, fuck you too, right? Because, yeah, that's mm-hmm. all, like, I swear. And the only person he's looking at going, you're cool, is Putin, which... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Because he know he did some dirt. 
during that campaign, and Putin knows. So we want to keep Putin close to him so Putin don't release that shit that he got against him. Well, but you got to <laughs> say, Poke, if nothing else, at least if it was us and Russia versus the world, we might win. Yeah, we will win. <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if I want to live in that world. We, we, right. We will win. I mean, I ain't going to lie to you. The United States, is, everybody know that they, you know what I'm saying, we're more powerful than any country. But when it's three, four, five, six power, powerful, just as powerful together, can't win. And North Korea been sending threats like a mug to us too, man. Like, like a mug, like, do something again. We sending shots to y'all. Like, threatening us. Like, we taking it. Donald Trump taking it. Like, okay. I was going to sit down and talk to them. They ain't got, man, they don't care about dying over there in North Korea, man. They like ISIS, a country full of ISIS, man. They don't yeah. care. Them like young, uh, under Jim Crow John, whatever his name, because Kim Jong Un, that Kim, my little motherfucker don't care. What is it? It's, it's, Kim Jong, Kim Jong it's Kim Jong Un. It's Kim Jong Un. Yeah, he's yeah. the current leader. He killed his old uncle, his, his family members when he got, came, got in office, man. That motherfucker don't care about no Donald Trump in the United States. See, and that's why. I don't know, man. I, I I don't get how, as a whole, and I know there are people that highly oppose Trump. I know it's, and whatever, but I don't see as, as a whole country how we don't look at our government at this point, at this point and just go, um, you know, you're really fucking up. And, um, right. like, this is leading more to, like, fucking um, real apocalypse or post-apocalyptic looking kind of territory. As opposed to, you know, like Star Trek. I'd rather go for Star Trek if we're going to lead the human race into the future. As opposed to, I I don't fucking know, like no planet Earth and there's like four people left and it's fucking Mad Max. Right. Right. I I don't understand how the Republicans can just sit there and watch this man. First of all, y'all had his back. Y'all was against him. Then y'all was cutting ties with him when he was on campaign. Now now y'all sticking behind him. Y'all watching him do this shit like... How? Y'all should go home. How can y'all go home at night with y'all family knowing y'all back in this dirty mother home, right? I see. I'm like, man. Mm, yeah, that's... I, I don't know how, like, you can condone any of that and sleep well at night. Right. Unless, like, somebody's, somebody's paying somebody, man, that... Man. Well, fuck, Trump might be he paying is. somebody. He's got money. He has yeah, money. And that's why I said he money. is. Yeah, he's paying them. That's what the, that's what's happening. He's giving them more than what they make and shutting their mouth. That's it. Man, come on now. That's, that's what's happening. Not... He's paying them. He got all that money. That's he, terrible. Oh, he's gonna change the economy. Man, no, you they forgot Trump went what bankrupt like how many times? Two or three times? Yeah. Come on, man. But that yeah. one man, I don't forgot his name, he he got he's an Arab guy, he got a lot of money over in another country. He put Trump on blast, like, mother do, do I gotta save you again? Did you see that? No. Oh my! I can believe it yeah. though. You can pull it up on YouTube somewhere. But yeah, he said I forgot his name. But he's like, yeah, Trump. He's like, he wasn't gonna say nothing. Trump said something. He's like, all right, do I need to bail you out again? Because he bought one of Trump buildings somewhere, and um, Trump needed some money because he was going under. Yeah, man, I be paying attention to all that. We ain't up on all that bullshit, man. Uh, it's just we gotta get him out of there. I don't know how we gonna get him out of there. The impeachment don't seem to be working too, coming too soon. He got to get about that office, man. Well, I mean, uh, shit, man. Now I want to, now I want to honestly kind of check. I wonder how many actual signatures it would take to get that son of a bitch impeached. Like, because I would assume if you had enough signatures from the United States populace, that they would have to be like, oh fuck. But you got to think about it, though, man. We can get as many signatures as we want. Guess what? When the signatures go to the uh... To the yeah. Supreme Court, whoever the House or wherever they go to, Trump is paying them motherfuckers, so they ain't gonna look at those signatures until the motherfuckers open their eyes and say, "We got to get him out of here." That's when it's gonna happen. All those signatures, they ain't gonna work. He paying them, so why are they gonna look at some signatures? Where about some signatures? They don't care. That's the case. He could have been impeached his first two months. Yeah, yeah. You know the conclusion. So, yeah, come like, to, come on, Poke. The only way you could have a government that wasn't corrupt if you had just one sum of Son of a bitch. I mean, and he would have to be a son of a bitch that was just in it. And he was out for nothing except he just loved violence. So anytime anybody accepted a bribe, he just killed that person. That's the only way you could have a fucking political system that was not corrupt. Is if you had some psychopath that was just a son of a bitch that killed anybody anytime they were caught doing it. Like, no, you're dead. Because then everybody would be like, whoa. 
it's a dude, it's a leader in another country. Now, I, I forgot what country. He's been killing all the drug dealers over there, and you, know, you get out of line with that motherfucker, and, he, and they know it. I um, forgot his name, man. He was just, they against us, too. You don't like Trump. Uh, he, ain't like, he ain't like Obama, either. Uh, damn, I forgot his name. Oh, shit. They just made a fucking movie. Dude, they yeah. just made a movie about him not too long ago, didn't they? I think so. Yeah, man, we need some um, good motherfuckers in the office, man. Yeah, I mean, it was a low-budget, like, independent film. Like that they made, but yeah, I think fucking yeah, they just made a movie about him. Fucking um, <clears throat> stop! Ah, uh, no, I can't never do that. I'm gonna look it up, man, and find out. But yeah, he be over there whacking them drugs. He like you sell dope in my country, I'm killing your ass. Yeah, you yeah, caught. he's like capital punishment for fucking everything. Yeah, yeah, that's man, we need a some big motherfuckers to run, run the government. You hear me? <laughs> huh? We need some project motherfuckers to run the government. Dude, we need <laughs> something. Fuck, I I'm down for you. <laughs> You and fucking Nitty. How about this? I say poke and Nitty as president and vice president. And I'll be frank. I don't give a fuck which one of you takes what. Y'all figure that out between you two. But you definitely you do a fucking way greater job than the motherfuckers we got. I mean, fuck, at least you're obviously paying attention to the situations around the world, Poke. He's not. Hey, but you know what I'll be doing? My problem will be? I'm a generous my brother. I'll be writing checks to all kinds of my brother. <laughs> People be calling me up at the White House like, Poke, I need some money. All right. Come on down here, watch me. I'll be giving a little everything. Yo. Be broke. Our country will be broke. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. No, fuck that. Poke, if, if that happens, then the official radio station in the United States of America has to become <laughs> no fucks given radio. <laughs> hey, 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 yeah. And then you'll be, uh, your, your uh, main location to be in the West Wing. Yeah. In, in the White House, man. <laughs> <laughs> Live from the White House, man. No fuck getting radio. <laughs> oh fuck! We would change this whole country with that, Poke. Man, Just don't make me the Secretary of Defense, man. dude. I will do something stupid. Like, like, give me a job where I can't up. press a button. That's all, you know. Because <laughs> if I have a button I can press that blows some shit up, I'm gonna keep looking at it until I'm like, man, I want to. I want to know how big that bomb will be. I want to. And eventually, I'm just going to press it out of curiosity, because as Chuckles would say, I'm a lovable <laughs> asshole. But I am still an asshole. you got to keep that in mind. I'm going to be like, yeah, fuck it. Click. Yeah, I know. You know. No, we ain't going to put you nowhere near the button, man. We're going to keep you in the whole other side of the house. Well, can we, can we, like, can we like just set a really big bomb off? In the, no, we can't set a really big bomb off in the middle of the ocean. We might piss off Atlantis that we don't know is there or some shit. Suddenly, so got Aquaman trying to kick our ass. <laughs> Yeah. Factor, why did yeah. you blow up the crazy. Pacific? Right. They've been doing their, uh, United States been doing their, uh, missile test. Like, we got intercontinental missiles, too. They've been doing a test over in, um, from California. Yeah. Shooting so from the, can... uh, air base in California into the, uh, ocean. For real. So we can blow One shit up. Ocean. Yeah. It's, like, why? Uh, I'll tell you what, man. There's, a yeah, you know who Jim Jeffers is? Uh, now, he's an all he's an Australian comedian, man. Uh, apparently, he's I only seen this uh -huh. on Facebook. Jim, oh, Jim Jeffrey, it's Jim Jeffrey. My bad. Yeah, I th okay. I think my wife's right on that. Yeah, but he's an Australian comedian, man. Um, and apparently, he's getting ready to start a show on Comedy Central. But I seen a little clip for it on um, Facebook mm -hmm. today, and it was funny. He's like, "We should let North Korea have nukes." He's like, and and the reason for this, he's like, now he's like, now hold on, just listen to me. And I I, I kind of fucking agree with him, Poe, because listen to the reason. Look. America thinks that no one else should have nuclear weapons, but we're the only right. ones that's ever used them. That's like right. Charlie Sheen not wanting anyone else to have the Coke. <laughs> I mean, and that's Jim Jeffries' line. I'm not taking credit for it. That's, that's all his <laughs> shit on Comedy Central, that show he's about to start. You can fucking go research that. And he's a funny fucker, so whatever. And he does political. It's, it's good shit. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I understood that comparison. So, like, why the fuck do we have such a problem with everybody else having these bombs that we have? But see, the thing is, the reason why it's a problem, because like we talked about earlier in the, in the show, the United States has always been on the forefront. We always reach out and help everybody when somebody's in a crisis, whether tsunamis in, um, over in other countries or whatever's going on, Haiti, we always the first to reach out and give billions and trillions of dollars. We ain't going to use our nukes on the motherfucker for no reason. North Korea, that motherfucker that they got running their country, like I said, he killed his own family. So you think he give a damn about us? That's uh, the reason why they don't want it in his hands. It's about being in the right person, right country's hands, and they the wrong country to have them. All right, now <laughs> counterpoint. Trump is the wrong president to yeah, have. Them. Okay, okay, okay. That was my counterpoint. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs>
It's going to be like, do we really need Trump with nukes? And you're like, no. Before I even ask. So, right, right. Whatever. I don't think you can trust any human's judgment with nuclear weapons. You don't really, babe? None? There's no, not a single person. There's not a single person because huh. everyone is, yeah. What did they The wife says that no one can be trusted with a nuclear weapon. Which is probably true, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, yeah, yeah. No one should have the capacity to fucking wipe out a hundred thousand people by going click. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that's yeah. Well, I mean, it would depend on the bomb and whatever. But I mean, it would it could be fucking. It's the motherfucker might, well, might wake up one day, and be pissed off just for no reason. Everybody had a move. Wake up one morning, and be pissed off. Like, man, I'm gonna blow the shit up. Fuck it. I don't even care no more. Oh, Hell no. Anything. You what? You have a motherfucker wake up depressed and suicidal and be like, man, I just really want to go out crazy. <laughs> Click. And he was just trying to kill himself, but he took out New York with him. There's a couple underground right. I could drop a nuke on. Yeah, we don't need that. Damn, my wife's talking about dropping nukes over here, Pokes, so apparently she doesn't need one either. Hmm. I'm a little fucking worried now. Like... <laughs> My wife wants small personal nukes, Poke. Just to take out one person at a time. Yeah, that's called a gun, babe. To take out one person at a time, it's called a gun. That's called a grenade. Okay. My wife has problems, Poke, and here I thought I was the fucked up one. <laughs> it's not you, huh? Eh, I don't know, man. You know, sometimes I, I really, I, I, I go back and forth on it. To be real honest, I'm not sure if mm-hmm. I'm the crazy one or she's the crazy one. You know, it's it's just it's, it's really a whole fucking like I say, it's a back and forth. Um, y'all a team, just, y'all. That's why y'all a good team. True. That's what it leads back to. But but I swear, <clears throat> like I, I'm not so crazy. I'm gonna be trying to drop bombs on them, but apparently she is. Yeah, but this is bombs on them by Lex the Hexmaster. We'll be right back. No bullshit zone. <laughs> Yo, what it do, world? It's your boy, Pope B. Well, I'm a mushroom cloud laying motherfucker, motherfucker. PJB representing. Let it do what it do. Put your back in the spot. And you know we got that crack in the spot. Let it do what it do. White noise coming with the pain. So you know we getting heavy in the game. Let it do what it do. You tuned me into No Fucks Giving Radio with the homie Unknown Factor. He's too dangerous to be left alive. And yeah, he gonna follow me downstairs. Okay. Show me. Okay, I'm ready. You ready? Who's with me? Yo, keep up with Project Born at therealprojectborn.com. You better not tell nobody, man. Man, I'm not, man. Keep it on the down low. Oh, wait, I'm not like that. I'm going to keep it down, bro. Hey! Facebook, Project Born. Twitter at Real Project Born. SoundCloud and all the other sites online. How letter. us. Get down! Well, I ain't going to tell nobody else. No fucks given radio. Keep it locked. We don't want no, 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 we don't want no bullshit around us, no bullshit around us, no bullshit around us, no bullshit around us. Live, yeah, that's right. No bullshit zone, man. Me and Poke, we was just bullshitting, you know. We do that off air though, cause this is the no bullshit zone. All right. So yeah, me and Poke gonna bullshit. bullshit. Yeah, we do that shit off air. That's what's up, Poke. <laughs> no, that's right, right. Yeah, man. Uh, I don't know. I think yeah, Nitty's, be, just, uh, Nitty's just still watching that game, ain't he? Yeah, I you know what I ain't even started looking at. It. I don't even know what's going on with it right now. Oh, the finals are trending on Twitter. My wife says. So, oh yeah, I know. It's a big I'm thing. Sure of that. Yeah, they say they'll fucking get into more of that on the uh, fucking sports, bitch. Yeah, which like I said, we're gonna start. <laughs> uh, what that's next Sunday, I think. Yeah, next Sunday. Well, it's fuck. Hold on, God damn. I gotta, I gotta jump my foot. Is it is it next Sunday? No, All right. Oh, that's what I went up this. Two Sundays. Yeah. From now, right? Two Sundays from now, the, the fucking eleventh. Mm-hmm. On the eleventh, we're gonna be starting fucking sports, bitch. That's right. Yeah. Look, I don't know. You can call in for so that. It's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be, 
Yeah, it, it's going to, or I might listen. It's, um, it's going to be on every other Sunday, you said? Yeah, you yeah. Be- yeah, man, because, you know, like, I know we got a lot of shows over here we do monthly, ladies and gentlemen, from the Freaky Fucked Up VR, the No Bullshit Zone, which is this, this is the official relaunch of. Like I said, you'll be able to catch us the fourth Monday of every month. Myself, Frank Nitty, Poke Frost, that's what's fucking up, right? Chopping it up. So you got that. But I figured they needed to do that twice a month just because, I mean, it's sports. And if you did that shit once a month, Poke, that's a lot of fucking shit to cover. Right. Yeah. Especially football, about the football season about to come soon. You know, they play on Sunday, so. Yeah. And not to say that, in all honesty, we couldn't do this show fucking twice a month because God knows enough bullshit happens that it needs to be addressed in another oh, bullshit man. man. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Like. Hey, we that's... we can go on for we can go on and on for days, man. All the bullshit going on in the world. Yeah. Days, dude. This could be a never-ending broadcast because I swear I, to God, yeah, some bullshit. Right, right. Yeah, some bullshit would occur while we were on the fucking air. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Right. Just, Addressing current right. bullshit right now happening. I've actually had that happen. Yeah, I've actually had that happen, man. Where fucking like there was some attack in Paris while we were live on the fucking air. It was, yeah, blood. Yeah, man. We are, hey, we just had a lady uh walking to a credit union. A lady by herself walking to a credit union. They rob it. You know, they're like wait, like one of the biggest credit unions here. A lady by herself. Did she have a gun or a yeah. weapon of some sort, I assume? They didn't say. They got a picture. They got a picture and all of that on the uh, Crime Stoppers and everything, man. But, yeah, she by herself. Chick Once by she herself. had her face like the bottom. Rob yeah, the man. And that got is... away with money. That's fucking got impressive. Man. I mean, man, I'm, not, I'm not so saying it's not here. stupid. But, come on, po. I wouldn't go try and rob nowhere by myself as far as an established store. Because to do that... As a solo act is, in my opinion, a bad idea. Now, real quick, I'm not advocating crime. I'm not advocating crime on the no bullshit zone. And I'm not saying that if you're going to do it, you need to get a partner mm-hmm. or anything. I'm just saying, if you really think about it, the only way to do crime properly is you have to have two to three individuals to actually be able to do that shit with you that you fully trust. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because, motherfucker, there's way too many factors in anything. Pardon the pun. I'm not trying to play off my own goddamn name. But, yeah, there's way too much shit in anything that you have to have people to cover your back in a situation like that. So for her to get in and get money and get the fuck out, Pope, that's kind of impressive. Uh, she got out. Man. They basically got her face all over the, the news and any, any information looking for her. I'm like, damn. She'd fully get out then if they got her fucking photo. Why the hell that bitch not wear a mask? Yeah, now she had her face wrapped with some glasses on. I don't know why she took the suit off because they got her face on the on the, um a picture of her face without that glasses and the thing on the wrapped on her face. I don't know why she took it off. Man, why do motherfuckers not just wear masks anymore? I swear to God, mm-hmm. these like look, look. If you're gonna go rob, I, I fuck it. I'm I'm not advocating crime, but I'm gonna give a little advice to motherfuckers out there on a no bullshit zone who want to go commit crime, right? If you're going to go commit a crime, don't try and wrap your fucking face in saran wrap or some stupid shit. Because, one, they can probably <laughs> check your shit enough to where they can figure out who the fuck you really are. Because it's saran wrap, motherfucker. You can see through it. That's kind of the whole right. thing of it, right? Go fucking steal a mask. Go five-finger fucking discount a mask at Walmart, motherfucker. Just a standard ski mask. I promise. It's Walmart. It ain't that hard. And then go rob the fucking liquor <laughs> store. But see, the thing is, like, going into a bank or a credit union with a mask on, they're going to detect you coming into the door. But see, how she had her face wrapped, you know, it's Muslim women that walks around with their faces wrapped because that's their uh, religion. And they have their faces wrapped where people don't see their face. So I seen a lady in the store the other day, a Muslim, at a counter with her face wrapped, you know what I'm saying, getting checked out. So she walked in there with that mentality, I guess. And they probably didn't say nothing, but you walk in there with a mask, they're going to be on you. You know what I mean? Yeah. she thought that out, smart. I'll, hey, I don't know, dude. Look, you want to bring us, it can't be no worse than the man that fucking walked into a goddamn store with his mom's head and then stabbed a store worker. On Mother's Day. On Mother's wow. Day. In Oregon. In Oregon, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, like, I heard about that. Yeah, dude, straight cut his mom's fucking head off. Walked into it on a Mother's Day, first off. You piece of shit. 
sir, you are a piece of shit. I just want to point that yeah. out. No bullshit. Like, right. even, I don't give a fuck how shitty his mom was. Don't do it on Mother's Day. Right. On Mother's Day? Not on Mother's Day, babe. Not on... Nah, man, you do that shit on a birthday. That's a different note altogether. Sorry, that's a bit more of a personal <laughs> note, ladies and gentlemen. You know, folks like, what the fuck's going on over there? <laughs> yeah, I like the birthday, yeah. Hey, we just talking yeah, about, yeah, we talking right. about doing this to someone else. Listen, but if I did it, I'd just cut her head off. I'm not going to go stab a clerk worker afterwards. Because I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> like, like, why the fuck? Like, here's what I want to know. Look, for real, folks, let's say, let's say theoretically, this bitch was terrible. Like, like, was the right. fucking worst mother you could ever, ever fucking, ever expect, right? So that's why he did it, because he lost his shit. Fine. Right. Why'd you go stab the clerk? <laughs> right, the clerk ain't had nothing to do with it. Damn, poor clerk. <laughs> the poor, no, I know, the clerk was porking his wife, that's what it was, or I mean, porking his uh mom, that's what it was. So did the clerk die? I don't know. <laughs> uh. That's, that's the whole thing. You get a clerk die. Right. I don't know. I, I just really, uh, I just really don't see how the fucking clerk got brought into it in that whole situation. Right. Like, like what the fuck I do? Man. <laughs> you imagine being that? Imagine being that clerk, dude. You're sitting there, you're chilling, doing your fucking job, whatever. All of a sudden, a motherfucker walks in with a severed head. Right. First off, let's be honest. Your initial reaction. Period is gonna be ah that shit's fake, right? Right, right. Cause cause who the fuck's yeah. gonna walk around with a real severed head? You ain't doing right. that. Fuck you. So you know you talk to the guy. And suddenly you get stabbed. What the fuck do you <laughs> think about that? <laughs> That's fucked up, man. Oh, dude, that, man. that that guy. That's one of the shittiest days on a job ever. You know. Hey, speaking of severed heads, though. Since we're on that topic, right? What did you think of Kathy, uh, Kathy Griffin with her little uh, severed head act? Yeah, you know what? I, I I haven't heard. I heard about it, but I haven't heard everything that she that she uh, said. I just heard it. From what I, I haven't know, heard it, man. From what I know of it, it was a photo shoot that was done with a uh, a photographer. I don't know the photographer's name. Whatever. Um, I don't need to promote you, fucker. You ain't paying me. Um, but he was taking photos right. and, th- and the guy's known for controversial photos, like shit with blood, like he's used fucking real actors blood, apparently at points, like he collected wow. famous actors blood and used like, real fucking blood, you know, like yeah. legitimate real fucking human blood for pictures. So he's known for fucked up shit. Know that right <laughs> off the bat. But yeah, apparently she uh, just had <laughs> a photo show, a uh, photo shoot with him with, uh, Donald Trump's decapitated head, or, well, a model of it, obviously, because, unfortunately, he's still president, ladies and gentlemen. Um, It wasn't real. (laughs) And there was a huge backlash on it, man. Like, on Twitter, people were shitting on her. Like, famous people even started getting her. And she ended up apologizing, saying it was too much, and that she'd crossed the line, but it was supposed to just be an artistic statement and whatever. I don't know, man. I don't get a problem with no fucking buddy posing with a... You know, head of Trump. What do you think? <laughs> hey, this is no bullshit, all right. Yeah. Hey, I ain't got to follow with it either, man. <laughs> yeah. And that's like uh. They <clears throat> gonna shut us down. Uh, Trump said his ten-year-old was devastated. Right. Yeah. I, I see. I seen that when he made that uh statement. That my kids uh yeah devastated from that. Oh, that shit that he didn't say about my husband and all this and that. How the hell? Now, they, they now going to be devastated when they say it about him, but all the shit that he say. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I'm like, come on. Oh, my God, folk. I fucking love it. <laughs> now y'all devastated. Hey, now y'all devastated. Get the hell out of here. All that bullshit you talking about is devastated. Come on with that shit. <laughs> Holy shit! I never thought about it like that, Poke. But yeah, that's that's about yeah for real. Why the fuck would they? Yeah, they shouldn't be affected by right, shit. They didn't, at this they point. Didn't, right? They didn't hear when he said he's gonna grab grab the woman by the pussy. He ain't hit none of that. <laughs> Hell no, no. The fucking fact that he said he could walk out into the streets of New York and shoot somebody and nobody would fucking do anything. They didn't hear that. Right? Yeah. No. I, I, yeah. I'm he grand. is. 
He's said more fucked up statements than that photo ever did. Right, man. So it's like, how the hell now? All of a sudden, you hit, you, you devastated. Get your laugh out of here. You ain't shit like you do. <laughs> man. I would lo- look. I swear to God, and this is an open invitation, President Trump. Look, I'll even use your proper fucking name, asshole. I'll still call you an asshole anyways. But look, President right. Trump, come on. Have the balls. Come on here with me and Frank Nitty and Chris Polk, right? Yeah, I, I don't, man, you know, Polk, he couldn't handle it. <laughs> that motherfucker would hang up in five minutes, no less. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not, you know what? I don't think he would. You, you really think, think he did? He, he good at He good at talking shit. Well, yeah, I don't think he'd hang up. I think he'd go. I think he'd go at it with a. Oh my God, now he's so. Yeah, he, I mean, he definitely would, because, like, what the, he has no intelligent defense. That would be the problem, is he would start to say something really stupid, and I would mute his ass, because fuck you, Mr. <laughs> President. If you're going to say something that is completely based out of fucking ignorance, I will mute your ass and correct you, right? Because, well, I don't know fucking everything. I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and talk out of my fucking ass about some shit I'm not competent about. Thank you. Right. Yeah, I know he would though. He would do that like in Mass Effect. Right. Like, oh, fact, you gotta grab I, I want the chance. I so want the chance get... to meet you, Trump. I so do. Chris, he'll never give it to me. Nah, he. Hey, we start a campaign and see what it can lead to. Might can get him on. Well, yeah, I'll tell you, everybody listening, everybody that listens to this right now, everybody that listens to this after the fact, again, this is the official relaunch. Hey, of the hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold Yo. on. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody listening because they want to go to the final. <laughs> Man, well, I'm still going to post it up <laughs> after the fact, whatever, so, you know, they can listen to it when we're fucking... You know, later. And for real, like I said, fourth Monday right. every month, myself. Yeah, and right. he'll be on here, too, because he won't be busy watching the finals. You can catch him on fucking sports, bitch. Yeah, and fucking the uh, 11th Sunday. That's right. Yeah, I guess him. I guess you can catch Poke Frost on that shit, too. Maybe listening. I don't know. He might call in. Who knows? Yeah, well, Big Will. Just... Yeah, from Big Will ENT. They're going to talk about those finals, which y'all are probably watching right now, not listening to our No Bullshit Zone. But... <laughs> Anybody that listens to it after the fact or right now, I say we start a petition. I agree, Poke, to get Donald Trump on the no bullshit zone. Change right. org. Yeah, yeah, that's the petition I want to start to get Donald Trump on the no. Because I do he's too full of bullshit. I'd have to hang up on him. <laughs> Like, you know what, President Trump, you full of shit. <laughs> yeah, for real. Up on it, Be like, you know, Mr. President, it's just, just too much bullshit. I'm sorry. Click. <laughs> I ain't gonna never call that motherfucker President Trump. Uh, <laughs> he, I don't even deserve, that... he don't even deserve that name in front of his name. I would. That title in front of his name. No, Poke, I would right before I hung up on him. <laughs> 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 Because, come on, that shit will make national news, for real. Like, that clip would be played yeah. on fucking Fox, CN, yeah. CNN, CSCBC, all that shit. Because oh, yeah. I don't watch that bullshit. I ain't got no time for it. Are you serious? Right. I check that shit on the internet and then double check it and try and triple check it and make sure it's fucking real. I don't trust Fox or any of them motherfuckers. It's goddamn garbage right. bullshit. All right. I don't know. How he gonna have, don't he don't uh submit his uh taxes though, you know what I'm saying? Like every other president did, but he 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 didn't he don't though. He didn't he don't pay taxes, and he ain't done not showing his taxes, you know, his records or whatever to you know, make it on you know for the people to see. You know? Like come on man, what, 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 he paying the government man? That's exactly what it is. He shouldn't have been able to even run for the damn president man. He, he shouldn't even. Have, been able to run at all. In no did, way. I'm curious. Did you uh you watch South Park at all, Poke? I I have I haven't watched it in a while. I, I used to watch that. Yeah. All right. Look, I, I like South Park. That's just funny. I watched the newest season. And uh like the new the whole thing they did recently is they had uh I think Mr. Garrison. You know Mr. Garrison, the fuck fucker that's got the puppet and shit. 
Huh? Yeah, they had him ostensibly play the part of Trump, but <laughs> it it was like he was going and said he was going to run for president. And it was like he was doing oh, yeah, it under, I heard about complete, that. Yeah, under complete bullshit. Like he was saying he was going to run for president. And it was a fucking joke to even him. Right. He was like, this is not serious. And then he kept on gaining ground and gaining, ga- gaining ground. And suddenly he's fucking president. I, I'm starting to kind of wonder if that's kind of what really happened with Donald Trump. Yeah. It was a joke then. It's still a joke now. Did you see who else is thinking about running for president in the next election? The yeah. Rock. The fucking Rock. Man, I, I take the Rock before Donald I, Trump. Goddamn right I would. Are you shitting me? Fucking a thousand times out of a thousand times out of a fucking thousand times, I'll take Dwayne Johnson before I'll take Donald Trump's bitch ass in any right. situation. Like, anything. Like, even if I need money, I'll still take the fucking Rock first. Yeah. Rock, Rock ain't gonna push nobody. Rock gonna wanna fight. You know what? When I see Jim King kill Jones, I'm gonna knock his ass. Oh, he gonna be ready to he, fight with him. Already. He would be knock the first. Him out. He would be the first president that actually was really like, "Oh, you want to go to war with me? I'll write motherfucker and rip his shirt off. Be like Monday night, bitch. You better meet me at your border. I'm gonna fuck your shit up. <laughs> right, Andy ass. This whatever shit you think. <laughs> And he gonna be trying to fight, like fist fight. He gonna be trying to push no new button. <laughs> Rocky be talking to North uh, Korea. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking turn that motherfucking Rocky sideways, shove it straight up your candy ass. Right. <laughs> oh uh, man, wouldn't that be something, man? I uh, honestly, everything yeah. I've seen of, of Dwayne Johnson, though, aka The Rock, um, like I honestly, he would truly make a better president than Donald Trump. I even think. Yeah. Even in how he handles things just on a personal manner, man. Like, that motherfucker is very diplomatic just as he is. Right. You know? I just, this, this is the thing with me, man. I feel like this. This is the way I feel the government should be. I, I feel like nobody should be able to run the president if you don't have no political background. You just, you, you got to at least been something. A uh, mayor in your town, your city. Some, you at least had to have some kind of political background. You can't just walk up and say, hey, you know what? I'm a run for president. I don't think it should be that easy, man. I think motherfuckers got to put their work in, man, be a senator, governor, something before they get to be a president, man, because yeah. we we see it now what the outcome is, is when a motherfucker ain't got no political experience, man. Donald Trump is the fucking example of, of why we shouldn't let anybody run. I'm not saying Rock wouldn't be a good one, but we need just people got to have that that experience, man, to walk in and either you got people, man, a whole country. Yeah. Yeah. And I you, agree. You, you going in there like an asshole and you don't know what you're doing, man. Dog. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I'll yeah. tell you. So what, in other words, what rock needs to do is he needs to pull himself a Jesse, the body Ventura. That's a, I'll tell you in all honesty though, that's a man I think would be a very interesting president to say the least. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jesse the body. I, yeah. Well, have you ever seen his uh that show he I mean I ain't seen all of it, but he did a conspiracy theory show. You ever see any of that? I ain't never No, I thought I ain't know he still was alive, man. I ain't I ain't heard yeah. about Jesse in a while. I Oh well, okay, look. Ah fuck Google well, man, poke now I gotta use Google real quick, cause I'm not <laughs> to see if he alive. <laughs> uh, yeah, I ain't even playing. Uh uh Is fucking... this supposed to feel limited? Uh, I mean, well, look, he's up there right now. Um, no, he's 65. He's 65, so he's still around, right? 65 oh, okay. years. And, I mean, that motherfucker, he, look, he looks like he could hand me and you my ass, like both of us do at the same right. time. He looks yeah. like he just beat yeah, the shit right. up. I ain't gonna lie. So for a 65-year-old yeah. man, I ain't trying to pick no fight, first off. And second <laughs> off, you got to think, like, dude, think about him as the president. He's got experience in the Navy SEALs. He's been a mayor. Or no, was he a senator or right a mayor? Here. Yeah, he's something I know, so yeah. I can't remember. He was either a senator or mayor. And then once he either. was, yeah, once he was done with that, <clears throat> um, oh no, he was governor of Minnesota. That's what it was. Um, mm-hmm. and once he was done with that, he went on and started a conspiracy theory show. And I, I think it ran for one season, and then it kind of got turned off. And like, it, I don't know if it was that it got canceled or they were just like, dude, stop fucking talking like this. Um, because I think, I mean, the motherfucker, I think really legitimately knows shit that people should know 
but the government doesn't want us to. Right, right. Yeah. Oh yeah, that shut you down. That shut you down. Yeah. That's like uh that's like Tupac, man. Tupac boy is twenty five years old, kept keep telling this and spitting game through the people in the streets that the government man didn't want I'm not saying the government took him, but a lot of that shit was why they was against that boy, man, because he was young and he was powerful and knew the knowledge. Had the knowledge, man, knew what was going on. I'm glad I ain't got the knowledge of exactly what's going on. That's all I got to say. I ain't trying to die. I know. Like, as much as I want to know that, the more I think about it, the more I really don't want to know it, because I don't want to fucking end up with a bullet between my head. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. I'm surprised we don't hear about the dude, the FBI dude, that got fired dead so damn well, no time soon. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised, man. That I wouldn't be, man. That I wouldn't be. Hey, can I say real quick, Poke, you know at the beginning of this show, you know we said it was going to be short. <laughs> right. What, an hour and a half later? Yeah. You know. That's how we do, man. You fucking... Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. Get me and Poke together. We chop the fuck I up. I flies when you're having fun, man. Hell yeah. Oh, no. We've only been on an hour and ten minutes. Okay. It's not quite as long because we went on a little late, man. Because I... Forgot what time it was, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not gonna fucking lie, cause you know I'm trying to. There's a lot of shows for real, like including this one, the No Bullshit Zone. Yeah, and it will be the fourth Monday, I promise, of every month going forward. Just, right. Yeah, unless some shit happens, as my wife says. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything happen? Anything can happen. Hell, man, you never know. Fucking, it might be because fucking Poke and Nitty or myself or all three of us have to go perform somewhere. Right. Well, all three of us in jail. <laughs> hey, look. Uh, no. Look, they already fired the head of the FBI. I think we're good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who are they going to get to investigate us, Poke? Shit. They fired Kathy, Kathy Burton. All right. Right, yeah, true. Oh, they did fire Kathy Maybe Griffin too. That's bullshit. Did you see that poke? They fired Kathy Griffin on the New Year's on the New Year's Eve CBS thing. Yeah, that shit. yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, we yeah, heard about that part. Everybody's in their goddamn yeah, but feelings this so much. I know, but but this motherfucker, they firing all these people for saying stuff about him. But he can say what the hell. I don't care if he is president. You think he should be able to say all the stuff that he again tweeting about it though? He tweeting it. It's like. Come on, man. What president did you out here just tweeting about all these other countries and all this bullshit? He should... Come on, man. Man. I, that's... I'll I tell you, care. that's the thing that kills me, dude, is that, like, the motherfucker uses Twitter like my wife does. <laughs> and and my wife <laughs> is fucking using Twitter to promote a radio, ladies and gentlemen, which you can catch yeah. at, at NFGR, right? Or at NFG Radio? What is it, babe? <laughs> Oh, what well, at NFGR42. Yeah, you can catch us. No fucks given radio. That's the fucking Twitter, right? Or at Project Born, man. You can catch them, right? Is it at, at Real Project Born? Look at that. My wife at knew Real your Project fucking... Born. My wife knew your Twitter, dog. Check that shit out. Yeah, that's real good, man. Yeah, yeah, man. I, I don't Twitter. I can't, like, I got a Twitter. It's at Unknown Factor 743, or it might just be at Unknown Factor. I'm really not even sure what the fuck my Twitter is, ladies and gentlemen. I, um, that's, that's, God, Poke, that's fucking that's terrible. And our president, like, our president uses Twitter a thousand times more than I do. Because I don't have time you to do. use Twitter. I do, I don't, and, and like, exactly, because you don't use Twitter because you don't have time, right? Uh, How the fuck does our president you- have time? And he got the most important job in the world, I mean, in the country. And he got more time to be using Twitter, though. Like, come on, now. All nah. the other important stuff that's going on. Yeah, dude, he should not have more time to use Twitter than either you or I. There is no fucking right. excuse for that. I don't give a fuck if he's doing it on the shit or not. He's shitter twitting, my wife says. <laughs> Man, he don't shit. He don't shit? He don't what? Shit. He don't have any yeah, he. You don't shit. <laughs> I'd love, oh, that Kim Jong-un. That's that, that Kim Jong-un. Yeah, that is that Kim Jong-un mentality. That's what they said. Or was it, I think it was his dad that said that. I don't know if he says that. Like, Trump don't shit. That's why everybody say he's full shit. Because he don't shit. <laughs> See? That's why I would love to have him on the no bullshit zone, but I just don't know if I can take all that bullshit over here. Yeah, we've been, we've been. <laughs> 
Seriously. You better get him on. Hey, we're going to have to find our way to, to reach him, man. Dude, I really, you know, you say he would stick around for the interview, but I think after I muted him twice, he'd be pissed and bounce out because he's like, <laughs> no, I'm not cool with this. I am the fucking president of the United States. Why the fuck do I have no control here? And I'll be like, because, asshole, this is no fucks given radio. And I don't know who the fuck you think you are, but as far as I'm concerned, you are an orange motherfucker who got elected, and I don't know how it happened. Hey, did he get back and he hear me laugh? <laughs> Man. <laughs> Look, Donald Trump, for real, you ever hear this shit? Come on. Come on. Have the fucking balls to come on this show. Because this ain't Fox News. This ain't CBS or MSNBC or some goddamn bullshit. This is the no bullshit zone. Yeah, fucking Frank Nitty, Poke Frost, myself, the unknown factor. You know, and we don't fuck around. For real. At goddamn all. Like, I'll fucking, man, Poke, I would hate to hear the questions you and Nitty would come up for him. Oh, man. I'm coming off the dome, too, with it, like Trump. So tell me this. I wouldn't even call him President Trump. I was like, Trump. <laughs> oh hell no, man! <laughs> All that money you said you're gonna donate to us, to our city for water, my man. Donald right. Dump. He ain't, he ain't my son is calling Donald Dump. Look, you know what the problem is? The problem is, Poke, is he thinks he thinks mm -hmm. he thinks he's got a gangster walk, but that motherfucker's got a limp, man. For real, like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, but this has been the no bullshit zone. Yeah, and next time, man, Nitty will be here, I promise. But, you know, finals and shit. He ain't fucking here for the same reason y'all ain't fucking listening until the fucking broadcast is posted later on nofucksgivenradio.com. You know they ain't listening until later, right, Poke? Right, I already know. Motherfucking motherfucker. I already know. Whatever. Just check it out, yeah. right? And then check out fucking sports. Bitch, because, you know, they'll discuss those finals on that shit. They will, right? Yeah, but, man, right now, but it's Gangster Walk. Yeah, Project Born, Bootleg. Have a good night, y'all. No bullshit zone. Hey. Stand me, uh-huh. Got my nigga ideas uh -huh. in this Bootleg. bitch. Huh, y'all ready nigga for it? Never thought this shit was coming. Huh? If you want me to, I can break all the fucking rules. Hit the club, shake food, drink all the fucking booze. In my shoes, it's a lot to gain and a lot to lose. Because I do what I do for the block and the Jews. Tell me who's going to stop us now. M.O.B. Cause the U.N.T.O. You see A.J.B.L.E. Project niggas by nothing but figures. We all raw. I see y'all, saw y'all, you all fall. To call y'all bitches and hoes is all flow. Sometimes all fall, we get caught in the crossroads. We lost those niggas that didn't believe. I think Steve had trick my nigga, check out the weed. That's in my green in my camp, though. We want money and no money and no respect. We take no money. And plenty sunny, you're doing what you do. And I can break you off if you want me to. Come and we can make the baddest bitches gangsta walk. And we can make the wickedest niggas gangsta talk. Ride on the set on them gangsta dubs. All in the club with them gangsta dubs. And we can make the baddest bitches gangsta walk. And we can make the wickedest niggas gangsta talk. Ride on the set on them gangsta dubs. All in the club with them gangsta thugs. Who step through the door with the fit for yak in the sack of that good ass green ever seen? Pine cup pone in the zone. Then you bitches know just what I mean. Call my team. Set my nigga young poke hit it. hit it You can find a hater in the back of the text When it's so slid it Yeah we did it hit it And we can make the baddest bitches gangs to walk And we can make the wickedest niggas gangs to talk Riding on the set on them gangs to dubs All in the club with them gangs to dubs And we can make the baddest bitches gangs to walk And we can make the wickedest niggas gangs to talk Riding on the set on them gangs to dubs All in the club with them gangs to thugs hands up stand up and get crunk like a stank hoes Fuck those and gang those we're from six O's to six foes, poke kick flows, get dough, little Rick knows how this shit goes, this so say this flow, won't get your ass up, throw them bows, on the dance floor, I'm that project boy that you know, with the folk on the back of the shirt, you won't work, I know boy, you see me, little poke in the club with the M.O.B., sipping Remy Martin, selling steak hoes dreams, nothing more, nothing less, we fuck with the best, no stress to the west, y'all, do that market, don't stop to the east, y'all, that block, you keep it hot, down south, y'all, got that there, yes, yes, and shit, but he Midwest, come on. And we can make the baddest bitches gangs to walk. And we can make the wickedest niggas gangs to talk. Ride on the set on them gangs to dubs. All in the club with them gangs to dubs. And we can make the baddest bitches gangs to walk. And we can make the wickedest niggas gangs to talk. Ride on the set on them gangs to dubs. All in the club with them gangs to thugs. Bitch, Zilla. I'm anybody's killer. I'm dating gorilla. Blast niggas to get scrilla. Got a nigga ripping the flow. 
stop a player private project boy popping 36 ounce copping dope chopping laboratory never stopping keep the crack heads hopping in and out the yay house will be in it on my block i ain't for rock sold every minute chicken heads i